Okay, today we're going to be completing the last section of Basic 1 course. And this one's about following lines, and it says repeat with conditions. Now, it's not just about putting down code. We're going back to the if-else thing. So you need to pay attention to the introduction. So let's just go through the introduction. Uh, what should he do here? Well, obviously, we want him to go forward because you, apparently we're just going to be following lines. So to go forward, uh, so we're going to say forward, right? Okay, obviously. And he's right here at the corner, and we want him to go this way. So I guess the answer would be where do we want him to go? We want him to go to the right. And what should he do here? Well, he's facing this way. He's down here. We want him to go to the left. So let's check that out. Jameson doesn't know it's right from his left. All right, so Robo follows the white line. And notice what it says here. It's an if statement. If front is white, go forward. Okay. And so that's what it's going to do. And it's going to keep doing it until it gets somewhere else. But once it gets to there's no more front is white, it has to have an option. And so now we're giving it the option if right is white, then turn right. So let's take a look at that one. Okay, so when it notices that right is to the white, it turns right. Okay, and so it says right here, if only if you only take one step at a time, it is easy. So we simply need to re repeat these easy steps. And so I guess the question here is what we're going to do. Well, we're going to follow the lines. And so it's actually as complicated as this particular thing looks right here. The programming for it is actually quite simple. Okay, so let's take a look. All right, so the beginning, it has a repeat thing. And I, I you can see I kind of started it already right here. But it says repeat. And also, don't forget, always go down here to follow the instructions. These are the instructions down here. So it says complete the program, use at least pick up left, right, forwards, break. Okay, break's gonna be important. We'll talk about that in a second. So we want this thing to go forward if front is white. Okay, I'm gonna lower this. I don't think uh, the case matters here. All right, now, so it's gonna go forward, but then we notice that it's gonna turn and it's gonna turn. So let's keep going with this. We want another, uh, actually, by the way, this if statement doesn't belong here. It belongs on the outside. So if front is white in brackets, forward one. All right, so if front is white, forward one. So then we go to the next one. If right is white. bracket. What do we want? We want it to turn right. And we'll just talk to do it once. Let's just try this out and see, see what happens. Okay, a code block has started, but it never ended. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to close it out. That's the nice thing about this program. So let me just do that. All right, let's try again. I'm going to put it on slow. All right, so let's see what it does. It goes forward, it goes forward, ah, turns right, goes forward. So, so far our program is working wonderfully. Except, it's stuck because we have to go left. So let's stop the program. Now, here's a quick and easy way to do that. You just copy this one. Mr. Jameson likes to do things the easy way. Paste it, and we want it to do left. And left. And let's speed it up this time. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh, it's run out of paint. Well, what's up here? Oh, it's the beacon. So we want it to pick up the beacon. So let's stop. So now we have to say... If front 
is beacon. And then what do we want it to do? Well, so we have to put in a bracket here and we want it to pick it up. And close bracket. Don't worry about where these things go. It, it'll all work itself out. All right, so let's try that again and let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see it's still freaking out trying to figure out what to do because we haven't told it to stop. So that's where this last thing comes in. So within the one that says if front is beacon, let's just look back at these. If front is white, keep going. If uh, right is white, keep going. If white is left, keep going. If front is beacon, it says it's it doesn't indicate that it should do anything. So this is where we want to say, if you pick something up, stop what you're doing. So this is where the break comes in. Okay, and that break is going to tell it to stop. So we're going to hit play and let's see what happens. And it's done. So this is what your uh, coding is going to look like this time. And uh, it's pretty much like this all the way through. Have fun with it.